How'd Adam Sandler get his start? Well, before the Mark Twain Prize, before the multiple multi-platinum selling comedy albums, and before his films brought in over $3 billion, how did it begin? Adam Sandler was born in Brooklyn, New York, raised in Manchester, New Hampshire, and when he was 17 years old, his brother encouraged him to do stand-up for the first time in Boston, Massachusetts. Sandler then goes to college in New York City at NYU, and this seems to be where he really starts doing stand-up a lot. He's going out, hitting the clubs every single night, and one club he would frequent, the comic strip, is actually where he meets Chris Rock for the first time. Then in 1987 to 88, he gets four episodes of The Cosby Show as the character Smitty, and then in 1989, he gets the film Going Overboard. Now, Adam Sandler, while living in Los Angeles, is going out, he's hitting the clubs every night like he was in New York, and this seems to be where things really change for him. One night, he was at a club in LA, I believe the Hollywood Improv, and he gets recommended over to Lorne Michaels at Saturday Night Live. So it's 1990, and who is Sandler living in California with but Judd Apatow? So in 1990, Adam Sandler gets Saturday Night Live. And this is where we see for the first time characters like Opera Man, Canteen Boy, The Gap Girls with Spade and Farley. It's also where we see for the first time the Thanksgiving song, the Hanukkah song, and Lunch Lady Land with Chris Farley. Well, all this is happening. In 1993, he puts out his first comedy album, They're All Gonna Laugh at You, which goes platinum. In 1996, he puts out his second comedy album, What the Hell Happened to Me, which also goes platinum. So Sandler's at Saturday Night Live from 1990 to 95, and then in 95, he puts out the film Billy Madison. I've always wanted to see a blue duck. Then in 1996, he puts out what film? Happy Gilmore. This is my original VHS cover. I've seen this so many times, it's literally why I started to do stand-up. Then he keeps it going after that and puts out The Water Boy, Little Nicky, Big Daddy, Mr. Deeds, Eight Crazy Nights, Anger Management, Fifty First Dates, The Longest Yard, Zohan, Funny People, Grown Ups, Just Go With It, Murder Mystery, and so many more. We also then get to see him do films like Uncut Gems and Hustle. And now while all this is happening, he also puts out his comedy special on Netflix, 100% fresh. Now I've barely scratched the surface on Sandler, and there'll be more parts to this. In the meantime, comment below something you found out you never knew before, and who else you'd like to see how they got their start. Thank you for watching, I'm Matthew P. Brown.